Hey everyone, it's Christy, and this video is a message for anti-feminists. It's not only for anti-feminists, because there are many times that people make this mistake, or use this tactic, or end up employing this kind of language. Gary Edwards, I'm actually thinking of you here. It's not that, you know, if you're using what are called weasel words is bad, but it does get annoying if you use them constantly to avoid actually citing real people or real evidence or real studies or real anything. And so my message to anti-feminists following on from Demotivator Opinions video is this. Please stop using weasel words. Please don't use weasel words. Please give up weasel words. And you might be wondering, what are weasel words? And that's okay, because I'm going to tell you. I've looked around a lot of websites to try to find a good summary of weasel words, and to be honest, Wikipedia does the best job. So the thing that really distinguishes Wikipedia's discussion of weasel words is they give lots and lots of examples, and they don't just talk about it in the abstract. So first I'm going to talk about it in the abstract, and then I'm going to read you out some examples. A weasel word, also known as anonymous authority, is an informal term for words and phrases aimed at creating an impression that a specific and or meaningful statement has been made when only a vague or ambiguous claim has been communicated, enabling the specific meaning to be denied if the statement is challenged. Weasel words can be used in advertising and in political statements where causing the audience to develop a misleading impression of what was said can be advantageous, at least in the short term, in the longer term, systematic deception is likely to be identified with a loss of trust in the speaker. What are examples of weasel words? Well, phrases such as a growing body of evidence. Well, what is the raw data for your review? Another example is people say, which people? How do you know which people? It has been claimed that. Okay, by whom? Where? When? Critics claim, dot, 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 which critics? Clearly, dot, 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 as if the premise is undeniably true. Another example of weasel words is, it stands to reason that, again, as if the premise is undeniably true. Questions have been raised. This implies a fatal flaw has been discovered. I heard that. Well, who told you? Is the source reliable? There is evidence that. What evidence? Is the source reliable? Experience shows that. Whose experience? What was the experience? How does it demonstrate your point? The person may have, and the person may not have. It has been mentioned that, well, who are the mentioners, and can they be trusted? Popular wisdom has it that. Is popular wisdom a test of truth? Common sense has it insists dot dot dot. The common sense of whom? Says who? See, popular wisdom above. It is known that. Kind of like in Game of Thrones, it is known because you see. But who, by whom, where, when, and who says so? It turns out that, how does it turn out? It was noted that, by whom, why, when? A recent study at a leading university. How recent is the study? At what university? The phenomenon came to be seen as, again, by whom? Up to 60%. Okay, so is it 59%, 50 10%? More than 70%. Again, how much more? Is it 70.01? Is it 80? Is it 90? The vast majority. 75% vast majority, 85%, 99? What's, what's the vast majority? Later on, it might turn out that they actually discuss which study and give a precise number. So you have to take these things into context. But if people use a lot of this passive voice and makes us make assertions about the way other people think about things, or it has been said by some people over here, that's problematic. You need to actually say who these people are. You need to cite your sources if you want to be considered credible. A great thing that anti-feminists can do to start being more transparent is to actually cite all their sources, name names, and provide evidence that backs up what they have to say, rather than just relying on things that you saw that somebody said on Tumblr that you remember, or headlines from salon.com. You actually need to get inside the article and look if there's a study inside, click on the link, go, go read the study, go see what it actually says, and report that not the headline.
So that's my message to anti-feminists. I could have said a lot of things, but that's what I chose to say. So for, um, for the rest of you guys, uh, people who are watching just for amusement, not for the anti-feminist message, but just because it's content on my channel, thanks for watching. I, as you can see, I'm in a hotel room, and I'm working right now. I've got the evening off. I'm going to make this very quickly and try to upload it. But I will be back to my regular schedule, hopefully, at the end of the week. So from, for the viewers who are regulars of mine, or if you're just new, uh, all I've got left to say then is that I've been Christy. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching to the end, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.